everyone, welcome back. I hope you're having an amazing day so far. Today's video is all about life hacks. I have 10 of them to share with you. If you do like the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe before you leave. I upload twice a week and I would love to have you. If you're due for a hair trim or maybe you want to get a face frame or bangs, you can totally do it yourself. All you have to do is part your hair down the middle and then take two sections. I like to take it all the way back to where my ears start. And once you have those two sections, you're going to put it up in a little ponytail and secure it with a hair tie. The more hair you grab from the back of your head, the more layers you're gonna have. So I think this is perfect for a face frame. Then you're gonna smooth it out using either a brush or your fingers. And then you're gonna take some shears and start cutting as short as you want it. And then turn it on its side and give it a little bit of texture. Start off by cutting off a little bit at a time. It's always easier to go back and cut more than going overboard. And I would also recommend to have your hair straight before you do this and you have your perfect layers. Hack number two is for anybody that loves wearing large, heavy earrings. I used to wear them a lot when I was younger and you can tell that it kind of stretched out my earlobe. So a good way to solve this is to get some band-aids, preferably ones that don't stretch. And then you're just gonna cut them in half and you're gonna tape it to the back of your ear, loop your earrings through and there you have it. You can see the before and after, it makes a huge difference and band-aids don't irritate your skin. Hack number three is for anybody that has tried using coconut oil as a natural moisturizer and it just doesn't cut it. You can either mix a little bit of extra virgin olive oil into the coconut oil or you can ditch the coconut oil altogether and just use extra virgin olive oil. I promise you this works beautifully. And another tip that I can give you is to use it at the end of your skincare because it's gonna lock in all of the moisture from the rest of your skincare and then also massage it into your skin. This is also gonna help turn that oil into an anti-aging product because you're exercising your muscles. And these are just a couple of different ways that I like to massage my face. I notice that the smile lines really diminish whenever I'm consistent with these massages. This next hack is for anybody that may have noticed that you have little white spots that look more pronounced in the summertime. Chances are you always have them, but whenever you get a tan, they're more pronounced. So a good way to get rid of these for good is to use Selsun Blue. And you treat this almost like a skin treatment. You put it on every day for two weeks. You wanna make sure to only concentrate it in the area that you have the little white spot. And leave it on for anywhere between 10 to 20 minutes. If I have a lot of time on my hands, I'll leave it on for a full 20 minutes. And you will see after two weeks, it'll be completely gone. My next hack is for anybody that loves wearing high heels like I do but just can't handle the pain sometimes. My tip for you is to buy them a half size bigger and then buy inserts for them. So I have two different inserts that I like to use. The first ones are these by Superfeet and they have this arch to them so they take off all the pressure away from the ball of your foot. So I love these especially with super high heels. I also like these jelly ones from Dr. Scholl's but they don't take up as much room in the shoe. So I like to pair them with these little clear ones that also go in the back of your shoe and it feels like you're walking on clouds. Let's say you bought a pair of shoes that are a little too tight or you just wanna break them in quickly and you don't wanna to have to deal with the pain, then this next hack is for you. Basically, all you wanna do is get your shoes and you're gonna put on a thin pair of socks. And if you don't want the back of the shoe to stretch, then what you can do is fold it in half so that it's only covering the front part of your foot. And then you're gonna take a hairdryer and blast some hot air 10 seconds at a time. You wanna make sure that you don't leave it on too long because you don't wanna ruin your shoes either. But I promise you guys, this works like a charm. So we've all been there, you know, when you put on a little bit of blush and you think you need more, so you go in for more and then you just can't stop and then you end up looking like this. Instead of applying extra product on top, just go in with the same powder brush that you use. Try to diffuse it as much as you can. And go back to the same sponge or brush that you applied your foundation with and just dab it on top with no additional product that's going to solve your blush issues. So here's another annoying thing that happens to me at least once a week. You're gonna be tempted to take it off right away, but don't, instead wait for it to dry. And instead of taking a Q-tip, this is much easier. Take a spoolie, you usually have them attached to your eyebrow pencils, and you're gonna see it flakes right off. If you've ever wanted to try a new lip trend, but you're not sure how it's gonna look on you, especially the metallic lip trend, what you can do is get some Vaseline and then just get an eyeshadow that you already have that's metallic or whatever finish you want, mix it up with the Vaseline and then apply it. If you want it to be more metallic, just take a lighter shade and apply that in the center of your lips. And of course, you can do this with any color that you have. And my last hack is one that I have been having to use lately because I ran out of my nail polish remover and that is to use perfume for nail polish remover. And this stuff works. I was so surprised. So all you do is spray it onto your nails and then just use a cotton round to remove the nail polish. And you guys can see it just completely removed it. And it's a good way to use up all those perfume samples. 
I hope you guys enjoyed these hacks. Let me know down in the comments which one was your favorite. And don't forget to like and subscribe before you leave. I will talk to you guys next time. Mwah. Bye.